do have an enormous amount of respect for him, so I ask that you guys also give him the same. Um, really highly sought after, right? Uh, wildly, wildly successful. Um, and he loves the youth, and he actually works with the youth, right? So you're definitely in the right building right now uh, because he's very knowledgeable. So um, this gentleman was actually born in Philadelphia into the Moorish American um, culture, right? And by the age of six, he actually became interested in metaphysics or the laws of life, right? By the age of 18, he started his first, I'm sorry, by the age of eight, he started his first organization, right? Right, and by the time he was 12, he was already studying corporations, okay? By the time he finished high school, junior high school, I'm sorry, he was an artist, a poet, a singer, and a dancer. Anybody have that one friend or ever met somebody who just does everything? <laughs> He's the author of six books and has written over 100 pieces of music, right? Composed over 100 pieces. And today, uh, this gentleman is a super duper success working uh, with the youth and working with um, entrepreneurs as well. So I want you to please, please stand to your feet. One more time, y'all. Y'all been doing this great. Give it up for Dr. Sting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't downplay. <laughs> okay. Um, you know something? I'm so impressed by what I've saw so far. I almost want to just sit back and watch some more of that <laughs> and that uh, and where the rest of the guys. Anyway, here's what we're gonna do. Something about it that I learned when I was very young. You know, I'm talking very, very young. In the Moorish American culture, when you could walk. You had to work. Imagine that. You ever, you know, you had dirty diapers on, you went around, you know, you, you know, you could walk, you had to work. So I grew up, by the time I was eight years old, I aspired to be an entrepreneur. My father had to dry clean the business, my uncles had business. I wanted to work. If Travis can bring that video, that clip up of me, I want you to see what's on this clip. Your life is the greatest power in the universe. Understand that. Life is the greatest power in the universe, and it's in you, and you, and everybody in this room. Life. And we have proven that life is so powerful that it can take people from this planet to another planet. It's built skyscrapers. It's built bridges, artificial lakes. Some of the largest lakes in the world are man-made. That's the power of life that you have in you. Understand what power it is. When I'm with the kids, I love being with kids. I get silly, so you've got to watch it sometimes. You know, I, I tow myself down because I get silly. But the thing of it is, if you cut your finger, you know what's going to happen, right? Yes. It's going to bleed. If I do like this over the cut, what happens? It stops the bleed. Within two weeks, it's healed. Not even a scar. That's the power you have in you. That's the kind of power you have in you to heal cuts, to grow hair, to think thoughts, to use an imagination that goes beyond what anybody can ever dream, if you dare to go there. So I need you to get something to write with, some paper. All right. I need, I need a timer, somebody to do a time for us, a timekeeper, you got me? I need a second clock. All right, I'll be your clock. All right, good. Oh, uh, that's the clip, just that clip right there. All right, it says, oh, he changed up on me. It says, strive for greatness. Every oh, you were changing up, man. <laughs> so strive for greatness, everything you think, say, feel, and do. That's a mantra of mine. And what that means is your life being the most powerful thing in, in you, you are the custodian of. What that means is you direct your life. And why would you take a job? Why would you go to school? and not apply yourself to the force. Why would you not strive for greatness if that life in you is under your control? Do you realize when you don't strive for greatness in everything you think, feel, say, feel, and do that you're cheating yourself? 
You're cheating yourself because your life has the potential to do great things. Greatness is in you. And you want to apply yourself. When I talk to the adults, yeah, I find my, my adult friends, you know, they go to the job, they work three hours out of an eight-hour day. <laughs> Seriously, right? And then they want to get another job, a better job, and they have to lie on the resume. <laughs> you know, you don't want that habit. You want to learn while you're young to strive for greatness in everything you think, say, feel, and do from one second to the next. Not one person in this room wants a worse day than yesterday. You want a better day today than yesterday, correct? correct. You have to make that day. And only you, each individual, has the power to do that. If you allow your friends to pull you down, you're responsible. If you impact someone else in a negative way, you're responsible. Am I right or wrong? Right. The truth is the truth. Right. All right. The drill you're going to do is going to put you into action, okay? What that means is you're going to work. Okay. <laughs> All right. There it is. Work is sacred. You are using your life. Work is sacred because you are using your life. The greatest power in the universe is in you, under your direction. And if you don't do it to do great things, then shame on you. But at least think about the responsibility you have. Because if I don't strive for greatness, and I'm here in your presence, I'm affecting you. I'm influencing everybody in this room right now. And you are influencing the people next to you. If we all strive for greatness in this room, do you imagine the power that we have? From one second to the next, the power? And I'm talking about power that people would invest millions of dollars. I guess I was 30 years old when Offshore investors wanted to put $200 million in me and my company. And I had not gone to college yet. Matter of fact, I haven't gone yet. <laughs> but I've done a lot of teaching at colleges. So here's the drill. You want to put your pen, where you have the right, on your lap. You can't touch it until I say go. Now make sure you're situated. You're going to write, you're going to write fast. I'm going to be teaching you or bringing you to the point of the three pillars of extraordinary achievement. The three pillars of extraordinary achievement are focus, number one, learning how to control your attention. Two, self-control. We're talking about your emotions now. You have to control your emotions. You know, you know what happens when you get afraid of something? You lose it. Right? You get nervous, you lose it. Right? We have to learn to control our emotions, to hone them, put them under our control. And the last one is flexibility. Keep an open mind about everything. Look for the positive in, or the good in every single thing. Why? Because it's all experience. And you don't want to disqualify or make your experience something that's not going to benefit you. But look for the good things in it, using your life, and you will accumulate more experience. All right, so get yourself situated with your pens. I want you to stop writing. I know you're taking notes, because we got to get through this, and this is going to be powerful. Each row should have five chairs, at least five chairs in a row. All right, let's make a note of that. All right? When I give you the instructions, I'm purposely holding off the instructions until everybody's ready. If you can sit, put your pen on the floor. I don't want you to touch it. All right? Put it on the floor. When I say go, you're going to pick up your pen, and you're going to write. And when I say stop, you have to put your pen back down. You can't cheat. I didn't tell you what to write yet. You got to listen. All right? <laughs> All right? You're going to move quickly, and you're going to write. And when I say stop, stop. So you're going to learn self-control. You're going to learn to listen, follow my directions, and we'll be done. Focus your attention. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Where's my timekeeper? Are you ready? 30 seconds. What would you do? I'm gonna, you're going to answer this on paper. Everybody's just like, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? What would you do if you have cosmic power? Go. <laughs> Let me know when the time's up. 
Eight seconds. Stop. How many of you got something down? Raise your hand. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Raise your hand if you, if you got something down. Okay, why are you asking me what did I say if they back there got it? <laughs> if they back there, they get hurt when I said, wait, we weren't listening. We're learning to control this attention. Attention is the power. When I say listen, focus, I'm not joking. How many again? Raise your hand if you got something written down. That's not good enough. Let's try it again. Same drill. What would you do if you had cosmic power? Go. Don't waste time talking. <laughs> Don't waste your time talking. <laughs> 15 seconds left. 27 seconds. Stop. Okay, I said stop. <laughs> stop. That means, what, what were my instructions? Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> All right. Believe it or not, what you're learning right now, corporations will pay dearly for. To be able to get you to focus your attention, to come up with ideas and answers like this in short, so short a time frame, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. How many got something down? How many actually wrote something? All right. Okay. Not everybody? Hmm. Not good. Well, one body, one life, a lot of power. We want everybody on board. We're going to do the drill again. Everybody has to get this. Can't be touching your pens. Don't be cheating on me. Some of you in the back. Put them down. When I say drop them, drop them, okay? <laughs> All right, we good? Yes. Everybody ready? Yes. This time, same drill, 15 seconds. Go. Fifteen. Done. Ka drop them. There you go. Bam. That's right. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> All right. Who does not have something written down? Who does not have something written down? Everybody has something written down? Be, be honest with me now. All right, be honest with me. Okay, good. Here's what I want to do. We have to move quick. This is about momentum, power of momentum. I need somebody to stand up and tell me what they have. What would you do to have cause of power? Bam. I will predict my future. Next. Stand up. All right, next. Share it with others. Next. All right, next. All right, next. All right, next. <laughs> She's looking at me like, not me. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? Like Keep your own world. Next. Who's next? Did you do participate mail? Did you? No. <laughs> you didn't. Oh. <laughs> Did you have one? Yes. Change the world with positive action, disease, and power of people to believe in themselves. Okay, who else? Yo, where, where, where's Ambition? Ambition, recruit him. <laughs> recruit him. <laughs> Did you have something, lady, young lady? Wow. Now let me remind you how much time we had. How many times did we go 30 seconds? How many times did we go 30 seconds? Twice. That's one minute and 15 seconds. One minute and 15 seconds, and that's what we got from about seven to eight people out of the room. You understand what we're talking about here. This is power. All right, this is power. 
And we're going to switch it up a little bit. Each row is going to become an organization. You have five people in your organization. All right? Each row is an organization. You are being challenged right now because you have to now take all of your ideas and combine them into a business. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 it's going to slow down. <laughs> Follow the instructions. Let's listen first. <laughs> listen first. You have to listen first. Follow the instructions. You have to listen. Pay attention. You're going to be a business. You're going to combine all of your ideas into one. You also have to present your idea. Which means in this collaboration that you have with your five or whoever, many people in your row, you're going to have to pick somebody to present. <laughs> in the same process. Are we ready? Pins are down. Y'all ready? You got to share. You have to stay focused. <laughs> All right, let's bring it down. Let's bring it down. Bring it down. Yo, I know y'all cheating. Yo, yo, hold on. Stop cheating. <laughs> Stop cheating. Hold on. Can I time out? I didn't say go yet. Y'all cheating already. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet. Let's bring it down. When I say go, that's when you start. Are y'all cheating already? See? Follow the instructions. I didn't say go yet. Everything I do is time. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to do it when I say go. Same thing as before. Somebody's got to take notes, put it all together. You got to figure this out. You're an organization. Each, or somebody's going to have a role. Everybody's going to have something to do. And we're going to go in a time frame. Yeah, it's what do you, like we have, who does not have enough people to still get one? Because she was just going to talk. Need to recruit. <laughs> he said, he said he don't want to Okay, stay, keep it quiet. I want you talking about it. Before. Come on, y'all cheating now. Stay still. Keep, stay here. Where I am. <laughs> All right, hey, hey, hey. I didn't say go yet. <laughs> I know they're like, they're rare. <laughs> I want everybody to be quiet right now. I want everybody to be quiet right now. Bring it down. Bring it down with me. All right? This is where the self-control comes in. Bring it down. And respect me, my brother said over here. Just bring it down. We're not ready yet. They're trying to organize some people over there. So important for you to understand these three features. Your attention, your emotion, self-control, and flexibility. We get excited, we start to lose it. In the world of business, you can't afford to do that. All right? You have to be able to, to follow the instructions to be productive at every point of whatever you do. All right? Are we ready yet, Serena? Um, we just want to make sure one more all right, all right, come on, bring it back down, because I don't want y'all cheating on me. <laughs> come on. When we say go, that's when you're going to go. That's when we want to hear the chat. It could be any number. You can do whatever you like with that. They still have to work it out. But everybody's idea has to be combined into one idea. It's an incredible experience once you have it, but that's the deal. And I'm ready to go. I'm talking about y'all, but I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to make this happen, man. <laughs> Yo, <come on. laughs> All right. Hey, that group back there, y'all, hey, put up, put up. I don't know y'all coming here. So don't, don't be looking back there. All right, like this. It's off the work already. Uh-uh. You're going to be disqualified. <laughs> Oh, no. Can't have that. Are you ready? Okay. Everybody ready? Quiet. How I know you're ready is your pins are down and you're quiet. If you're not quiet, I'll just stay.
Somebody told me I can be all that to get paid. Whether you're doing anything or not. Don't be quiet, you get paid more. Okay, everybody's ready. You know what to do, correct? Oh, back there, you cheating? I'm gonna disqualify you. You ready with the time? This time I'm gonna give them a full minute. Go! How are we doing on time? Okay, let's regroup. <laughs> That's good. I can get loud too. <laughs> Are we done? Let's see what we got. Let's see what we have here. What group wants to volunteer and stand up and give us a presentation? Ooh, look at that man. Ow! Somebody yeah. give up. Oh, oh. I'm 
gotta go this side. You're good. All right, roll in. You don't talk until they're absolutely quiet. And if you hear someone whispering in the background, stop, cold, and wait. Okay, so what we've got together is United. Yeah, United. Uh, basically, we're like not like Larry, a corporation, like a collective of people for the universe, and to show people that you don't really have to be special, or you don't really have to like like shine to, to know that you're a star inside that you're actually part of the cosmos. This is where you can come, like. Oh. Even if your past you overcome so many obstacles, even if it's bad or good, it's a place where you can come and you don't have to let that define you. <laughs> and where, you know, where um, it doesn't matter what you did or how you were, it gives you that second chance that you need. Even if you were simply like very successful in how in your past, it's where you can become more and help others. And so basically our mission is to make sure that everyone knows that we have that cosmic energy inside of us and that we can bring it out and we can do anything that we set our minds to do. Yeah, so we, we want to educate people in like different areas and every area. Um, pretty much bring like everything from like people, like technology to music to art to uh, cooking to everything. Everybody, everybody's working together in one electric.
just posting it on YouTube, it would spread to a lot of people. And like, yeah. <laughs>
on, fellas. Shut up. Make, make us look good, all right? <laughs> make us look good, man. All right, anyway. Hold on. You have four. And then five, you come.
and there would be no point. Like, we wouldn't want them to rely on us, but like, to just come here every day of their life, but we want them to strive to be able to do what we can do. And we want individuality for everybody. And that's Okay, we're going to wrap it up, but I do want you to understand what you just experienced and take note. Three powers. Who wants to do the three pillars? Who remembers all three? Thank you very much. Focus. What you want to do if you can during the day, listen up, because I'm only going to say it one time. Try to find two or three times during the day and just sit still for three to five minutes. Nothing. Just sit still. Two or three times a day, just sit still for three to five minutes. It's going to be tough, because your mind's going to be like, yo, yo. <laughs> you <know? laughs> but you need to learn how to still that and bring it under your control. So that on the dime, when you need to come forth, all that you've experienced in your life is accumulated to this moment right now. So if you are, how old are you, young lady? 14 years old. She has 14 years of accumulated experience. But unless you learn that you have that, accept that you have that, and learn to control yourself, you'll never get it all come forth. So I hope you appreciate this uh, whole exercise. For me, it's a great thing to see young people come together and do this kind of thing. So, look, God bless you all, right? Thank you. <laughs>